nice it is to not walk up to a car in Sembayang mode. Yeah, as in collapse suspension. So yesterday I have swapped I have deleted out my air suspension and now it's in it's running on coil springs. Alright, first drive uh, after I've swapped out my air suspension, it is now running on coils. Coil spring from this brand called Premium, which was I mean introduced to me by my 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 workshop, my trusty workshop. Hey. Morning. Thank you. So yeah, uh, I told them I am frustrated and enough with air suspension. I want to swap it out to coil springs. Oh, that's good. Going over a speed bump like that without slowing much, slowing too much. Let's continue. Oh, why haven't I done this earlier? But we'll know, we'll know the, the, the bigger differences when it comes to going uphill. <laughs> I used to be really careful with speed bumps. Uh, a little bit faster. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Come on, a little bit. Ooh. Oh, nice. Never once hit the bump stop. Oh. Okay, let's see. No, I still. <laughs> bit there. Okay, this is a heavy car. I shouldn't, uh, shouldn't go over speed bumps that quick. But I'm happy with the, I'm happy with the, uh, the way it rides. But I need to go past rougher roads to know for sure. See, the RS6 has never been absolutely magic carpet even though even with air suspension uh, you only tend to feel the air suspension coming into effect when you are driving fast on the highway and any undulations was uh, let's say the undulation is a frequency like this that what the air suspension does is it slows it down to a gradual, more gradual wave, and that was that was it. Technically speaking, that's the most out of it, and of course, it makes for a comfortable drive. Interesting. I feel I feel the braking more probably in air suspension because it's electronically controlled. When you are applying brakes. The front should dip, right? Probably they reactivate and strengthen the front up or something like that. Okay? We'll see. We'll see. Let's fuel up my car first. Alright? I'm here to bring a message. Tire promo usually all about bigger, fancier options. Now Michelin have some specific size tires. Mateka promo for a lot of cars on the road like Civic, HRV, Alfred, X70, blah blah blah. 17 to 19 inch and up to 200 ringgit e wallets cashback until 24 September. If you bought four tires, there are merchandises for you as well. Thank you, bye bye. Okay, going at faster speeds now. I'm now traveling at about. Who the hell turned my car from? km per hour to miles per hour my god which idiot probably to do with the program reprogramming i have to figure out how to change it back <laughs> anyway i'm going now about 80 90 km h okay 100 100 in terms of uh, minor undulations like the roads, 
I mean, the road will have some shape to it, right? In terms of the minor ones, the air suspension actually deal with it better, okay? But rougher ones, the ones that were usually in air suspension, it will be the equivalent of dum 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 dum. Well, those, this one deals with it way better. Well, it's a known fact that air suspension can't deal with sudden judders, okay? Uh, they just they just don't deal with it well. Probably the computers, the reaction time, blah blah. Probably that. Okay. Come on, idiots. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. There is an accident. I get it. I get it. Don't slow down that much. All right. Uh, wet roads. Wet morning. Be careful. Okay. Some people just want to gawk at what's happening and then they slow down a lot. Anyway, uh, I'll continue the video when I'm about to go uphill to have a good feel of how it is. Cheers! During my drive here, I have sort of roughly concluded that on sudden judders, coil springs are better, turning, braking, coil springs feel better, but on presumably flat road surfaces like these, with minor undulations, air suspension would give you... Would would transmit less into the cabin and iron it out into a flatter ride, okay? But on bigger undulations, both are sort of sub, sort of equal. Just that the small, minor, gradual ones, air suspension would manage it better and sends less into the car, which resulted in less motion in the car. But coil springs, when you turn, they sit well. That's the first thing. Second thing, you feel the road better. Third, I don't know, maybe this is placebo effect, but I feel the motion of the car better when I'm braking. So whenever you are braking, right, you are changing the, the weight, uh, weight transfer of the car. I felt that with coils at any minor steering angle or even straight steering angle, the application of the brakes, which resulted in the weight transfer of the car, is felt better now after I have changed from air suspension to coil springs. The other thing, uh, this can be. Oh, that's a really rough surface. Hope it don't bend my rims. That was wow. That was violent. Bah. The other thing, I don't think it's placebo effect, I have really observed it. There seems to be a little bit more road noise and I do not understand why. Is it because of the actual connection, right, with springs rather than being isolated with air? Could that be the case? Uh, anybody who has more knowledge on this, please enlighten me. But I'm guessing that's how it is. You know, having a metal that that uh, transmits things, vibration or whatnot, is probably definitely better than in transmitting all this than air. I suppose. Okay. So overall, I'm in view of the long-term reliability and hassle-free, I totally would give up air suspension. I, I wish I could have done this earlier. I wish I could have done this earlier. Now, there are times when, let's say, uh, sometimes I park my car, it's a small lot, and the curbs are pretty high. I have, I remembered pressing the raise button to raise my car. 
and then continue parking so that my bumper doesn't scrape the curb. But those type of usage is far and few between, all right? Too, too rare a moment in time to consider that as a benefit or a gain in functionality, okay? And other than that, there is no real practical usage of raising or lowering the car from the air suspension. So I'm fine with this setup. So far I'm happy. I'll try to go up the mountains later and see how it is, but I I have a good feeling about it right now. Okay? The only thing that can come wrong out of all this is were well, if they did not tighten the nuts and the whole thing fell off. Other than that, I can't think of anything or any mishap that can or should happen out of this, all right? I'm very much looking forward to it. I shall continue the video after I'm done with the highway and about to go up the mountains, okay? Cheers. All right. Uh, it will be very interesting <laughs> from here on. The big tanker. All right, the Civic's gonna come. All right. Lovely. Ah, I see how it feels. Oh, whoa. <laughs> those are rough. I seldom go full throttle with this car because it was it is actually scary to do it. I like how it behaves so far. It sits well. Okay, it's not like the the original one is horrible and anyway. Why is it that I felt the braking is more direct now? Is this a placebo effect as well? Please let me know. Somehow the braking just feels that little bit better. Why? I'm changing from air to coils. But the braking feel seems to have improved. Oh, I like it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I'm not the type who is aftering a very sporty suspension, you know, one that like really gives up comfort, you know. Oh, I like it, just not how it reacts. Oh. Why is it that <coughs> the GTI Mark 8 and the 330i can end up so jarring if some independent Coil spring maker can produce something like this. Makes me wonder. So nice.
Oh, I don't want to... Luckily, I avoided him. I don't want to run over some fucking animal again. And then imagine it hits my bonnet and then the whole thing pops up again. Oh, I'm gonna <laughs> strangle the monkey. I like the fact that there's still a, a lot of comfort in it. Oh, that's the best part. Turn in, sits, sits. See, that's the thing. The sooner you your car sit and done with the weight transfer, the earlier you can begin throttling. Especially with a four-wheel drive car like like an Audi. Oh, I distinctly remember on these stretches, my air suspension no longer could, you know, really, really sitting wide on the sides. And my, I have changed my brake lines to steel braided hoses and high performance brake fluids. Why? <laughs> I tell you, uh, all these car makers, right? They are, they are schemes. You see, when I, when I got my car, and I was like, wow, it has carbon ceramic discs. Fantastic, right? And you are under the impression that you can deal with a lot of heavy braking without the discs uh, heating up and Start and resulting in a, a dilution in performance, in braking performance. Yes and no. Why? Because the brake lines and the brake fluids gave up before the ceramic disc. In a way, neutering whatever gains that you may have to nil Recording complete. you see what I mean so I was like wow so they they let you option the car with carbon ceramic discs but the brake lines are standard brake lines you know? So, yeah. Hilarious. Oh, I'm very happy. So, after changing that, I have really good confidence with my braking. Yeah. speed bumps like that is so good there's no secondary shaking or motion <laughs> thank you so much uh, premium shock absorbers and thank you so much to prestige uh, car care my workshop not as in mine, I wish it's mine, but the place I always send all my cars to, I'm just so blessed to have met them. Uh, yeah, it was it was it was really a coincidence because I was choosing amongst 50 over workshops to 
to do the inspection on my cars. And I saw this one because I, I bought uh, the GMR extended warranty when I bought the cars. And uh, they have a list of 50 over workshops across the nation for me to pick one to do my inspection. And if I pass the inspection, then I can purchase the, uh, the, the extended warranty. So I did my, I, I was looking through the list and I was like, oh, this one is near my house. Right, let's hope they're good. So I just selected them and uh, ever since, I've stuck with them ever since, I've stuck with them. And uh, I'm so happy with their, their service. And uh, the boss, oh, a man of integrity, really, the guy, I have no words to say. When the whole place, you, you, can, you can tell a place, you can tell how the boss is when there is a consistent uh, spirit or mantra amongst the managers and the workers and the staff. From that, you can tell it's the company's culture and the, this culture can only come from the boss. And true enough, when I met the boss, he's a humble person, um, you know, very diligent, yeah, a great customer service. So I've, I've no words to say about them, but I'm very, very happy with their service. Yeah. Okay, here there are a few dips. That, like this one is a. Oh, very nice. And the car will go down, but the road will go up. You know. squeal but the car remain steady sit and throttle and there are dips here and then the road right raises again oh this one Start yeah recording <laughs> there we go that hit the max maxed it out you know that's when you wish oh I wish I can set it to be set the suspension to be really hard right before that bump, you know, but things doesn't work that way. It's all about a balance, right? Ease out. Oh, is there an accident? There is an accident. There is an accident. Navigation is not active. Come on, just go, you stupid. Recording complete. What an idiot. You break until full stop. You're just really asking for trouble. Of people really yeah. but if you have seen the cones right why do you go to a complete halt even these parts my SS cannot I mean it's just there's just no comparison In terms of how direct Start the steering is, I mean, this this car never had a steering that is super direct at, at the first place. But yeah, the weight of the car, I would want to adjust it to be higher up, you know? <laughs> I want my car to ride taller, higher. I don't care about the looks of how flush it looks and all that. This is my family car. Recording complete. I seldom to never bring this car on drives like this because it's never as enjoyable as my convertible BMW where I can feel the wind and flow with the corners. Uh, but this is my family car. So I would want it to ride higher uh, and probably even uh, don't need softer, it's comfortable enough. I want it to ride higher. So there's more travel, hopefully, if it is possible, in the suspension. Yep. All in, I'm very, very happy. It drives, when, on drives like this, it, it drives sharper than my air suspension. 
and it still is comfortable. I'm happy. I'm very, very happy. Oh, so, if you're like me, facing air suspension walls, never, ever, ever trust uh, all those so-called I can fix it for you nonsense anymore. All right? Either you buy one or... Yeah. I love it, bro! Ha 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 ha!